A lot to talk about. Of course, it's mid-January right now, and this means only one thing, baseball. <laughs> now, it seems strange, seems like I'm joking, but with all the high-profile trades, Randy Johnson shoving a cameraman, ongoing steroid abuse scandals, everyone's talking about baseball. Every time I pick up a newspaper, it's about baseball. So I thought we should talk about some of these recent events in a piece I'm calling, Hey, it's January. Let's talk baseball. <laughs> And of course, the really huge story this week uh, has been the Yankees signing pitcher Randy Johnson to a two-year... <laughs> sign him to a... That's uh... no, all right. You can vote later. Jo- they signed him to a two-year, $32 million contract. And now that the Yankees have signed Randy Johnson, they've started throwing money at every funny-looking person out there. <laughs> so far, they also signed up Lyle Lovett. He's uh, kind of signed up. <laughs> DJ Qualls has been signed up. <laughs> Rick Ocasek from the Cars. <laughs> Ron Howard's brother, Clint Howard, has been signed up. <laughs> Flava Flav is on. And, <laughs> and our very own La Bamba has been signed up. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, well, on his, uh, on his first day in New York City, as I'm sure you probably all heard, Rennie Johnson made all the front pages by attacking a cameraman. And there, yeah... Now, a lot of people were shocked by Johnson's behavior, but that's just because they haven't been following his career. As we uh, just take a look at this picture of Randy when he was on the Wheaties box. I don't know if you saw that. (laughs) Here's a picture from his wedding. I mean, this was all... And then take a look. This is his high school yearbook. I think nothing says... (laughs) He's shocked. You've been following it. All right, everyone's making a big deal out of Randy Johnson being hassled by a cameraman. But i got to tell you, that kind of stuff happens all the time if you're a celebrity in New York. It happens to me all the time. Take a look at this footage of me. I mean, this is just the life you live when you're a celebrity. (laughs) Take a look at me getting hassled on my way to work this morning. It's unbelievable. I'm here on 49th Street where the latest robbery took place. Now, shop owner Victor Diaz was closing up for the evening when he heard strange sounds coming... Excuse me, I'm sorry, no cameras. Uh, excuse no cameras. me, sir, I'm trying to do a story here. If you yeah, I don't care, I respect my privacy, please. Okay, I no ask. one really cares about your privacy, Yeah, okay? I'm sorry, I, I, we please, talk, I don't want any cameras no, here. There's no cameras me, right here. Sir, what do you... Woo, 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 you're part of my person like anyone else. (laughs) Give me my space. (laughs) I'm an ass. Now, uh, (laughs) now, folks, I know I've been talking a lot about Randy Johnson attacking a cameraman. Let's see it again, by the way. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Okay. Now, I know he looks aggressive, but it's really all a misunderstanding. It turns out, we mentioned this the other day, Randy Johnson just loves bananas. Check out this reverse angle that we found. Hey. Bananas. Give me one of those bananas. Come on, yeah. In fact, in fact, his love of bananas was all anybody talked about at his press conference on Tuesday. Take a look. Sir, uh, Randy, Randy, yeah. Randy, Jack Johnson, New York One Minute. It's uh, no secret that you love bananas. Would you have signed with the Yankees if they hadn't agreed to pay you in bananas? Uh, no. Randy, what's the difference between bananas and plantains? Aren't they basically the same thing? There's a, 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 a little bit of a difference, obviously. And what would that difference be? I don't even know where to start with it. Randy, is it true that two days after winning the World Series, you tried to swap your championship ring for two bunches of bananas? I simply said I would be willing to listen to any uh, trade talks. Hey, Randy, what do you think of these? <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? This has bananas. That's her comedic take on the situation. He loves bananas. All right, enough of Rennie Johnson, I swear. Now, the other big baseball news today, players have finally agreed to be tested periodically for steroids. Now, a lot of baseball players are scared, but not Barry Bonds. That's right, apparently Barry Bonds has quit using steroids and is now 100% clean. What what did you say? He's here now? This is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand to the new steroid-free Barry Bonds. Terrific. I just got to say, uh, you know, congratulations, Barry. 
Thank you, Conan. I'm juiced on life. All right, very nice. Thank you, Barry Bonds, everybody. A good man. Now, the other huge baseball story this week, the New York Mets signed Carlos Beltran to a $119 million contract over seven years. Now, the Mets, the Mets, the Mets have blown so much money on Beltran, they had to drastically cut the salary of their mascot, Mr. Met. And this forced Mr. Met to take some extra cash in on the side. Yeah, and it's not pretty. Check it out. He was looking for something. <laughs> People sicken me. <laughs> but you know, there's so much going on in baseball this offseason that NBC has decided to make a made-for-TV movie about uh, everything that's happening in baseball. Yeah, they just finished casting it. They've done an amazing job. For instance, this is cool. Disgraced Yankees first baseman Jason Giambi is going to be played by Ricky Martin. This is really exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah, San Francisco Giants star Barry Bonds will be played by Gary Coleman, and I think he's the man to do it. Yeah. Randy Johnson as a Diamondbacks pitcher will be played by Jeff Foxworthy. And Randy Johnson as a Yankee pitcher will be played by an emu. And, uh... Yeah, some good stuff. Yeah. Now, uh, Mets pitcher Pedro Martinez will be played by James Brown. I'm looking forward to that. Yankees owner George Steinbrenner will be played by Barbara Bush. <laughs> and finally, finally, folks, baseball commissioner Bud Selig will be played by Stephen Hawking. And I think uh, it's a good show. This is going to be on NBC, which always means quality. Always. All right, I'm going to get this lotion off my hands. We'll take a break. When we come back, Topher Grace is here. Stick around. Stick <laughs> around. 